creation also researching and developing a valve in India, mm -hmm. a transcatheter heart valve in India. Uh, I would say a major step forward for make in India. Have you had experience and uh, I, recently I think you did a trial of one of the valves which has been researched and developed in India? Uh, yes. An important study as what they would say. Uh, tell us more about this. Well, it is called the landmark trial and it is a landmark I, I would say. Uh, it is a valve you first used in, in, in India. It is uh, produced in India, developed. The whole engineering, the whole innovation has gone uh, into this valve and uh, it was here in India. And then in a very bold step, this valve was put up to the test. It, it was compared against the existing two valves um, that have all the evidence behind them. I've talked about evidence creation and that's these two systems. One system uh, where the valve expands itself once it's released and the other system where the valve is expanded by a balloon. And those two were compared to the Indian valve, the uh, MyValve THV series, and 700 plus patients in uh, European countries and, and, uh, and New Zealand. We found that at 30 days, and that's safety and effectiveness uh, in trial speak, right? Uh, at 30 days, these valves were equivalent. They were as good in terms of effectiveness and safety uh, as the valves that are commonly used and that have the evidence of uh, uh, good uh, outcomes. On top of that, I call it the icing on the cake is this is the new development and as I said a lot of engineering has gone into it and as a result of that they uh, produce a more effective opening of the valve than the others. So that was uh, um, well, nice, to, nice to see. So it's, it's, it's a landmark day I'd say for India that an Indian research and developed valve is put through scientific rigors of a very meticulous prospective trial in the Western world at multiple centers in multiple countries, and then the data shows that it's as good yeah. as the conventionally used valves, uh, which, were, which have been around for a long period of time. So I think uh, it's a new stamp, uh, which, we, <laughs> which I would say. Absolutely. Be proud of. And be what proud of. we can be proud of, and, and we, we actually published it in the, in the Lancet, which is medical journal, which also means the whole data, everything has been vigorously scrutinized and stands up to all the tests. So this is good data, a good trial with a fantastic outcome for this new uh, series. Now, let me ask you, uh, what does that mean for India, for the Indian cardiology and, and the community to have you know, this innovation coming out of India into the clinical practice. Yeah, uh, that's, that's very important because we have a number of advantages now. Knowing that the valve is as good, at least in the shorter term, as some of the valves which we've been traditionally using for the last many years of the Western world. And for us, it becomes, and luckily we've, it's been around for us mm. for the last six years, uh, last seven years, I would say, and has been an integral part of our usage. Our patients have benefited from it over the years, but now with this stamp for prospective randomized trial done in the West, showing it comparable to the, some of the best of the world. Now we know that we've got quality with us. We've got affordability with us. After all, it's made in India and therefore for India for the first and then for the rest of the world. So it's got affordability. We have accessibility because now, the government has approved it for us as a reimbursable, reimbursable technique. And finally, with affordability, accessibility, and availability with quality, I think it means a lot for our Make in India initiative. Mm -hmm. I think India needs such R&Ds, which are not just meticulous, but also meet the global standard, whereby anything that we create is also for the Indian patients so that they have the best quality but also transforms, supports the same for across the world. So I think for us, it's, uh, it's a great step forward for Indian uh, device companies, for our R&Ds, for our engineers, and also for our medical fraternity, all combined together 
to create uh, such a valve in India for the rest. So it has numerous, and after all, such trials encourage our engineers, encourage our doctors to do better and better as time goes on and become also uh, the powerhouse, not just for our patients, but from a global perspective. I think the enthusiasm is, is visible, right? Uh, even if you go to the R&D department. Well, the principal investigator of one of the very scientific, prospective, randomized study on one of the Indian transcatheter heart valve, the Maya valve, uh, which was compared to the contemporary, commonly used devices of the West. Mm -hmm. And this, I think, was an important study. It was had all the scientific rigors. Tell us more about this study because it got published in The Lancet, which is one of the most prestigious journals of, of the world. It is. It's, it is a landmark for uh, uh, the company, for the valve, for India, I think. Uh, it's the landmark trial. So what we did is um, we, we took the MyVal THV series um, that is from Merrill Life Sciences, innovative development from India, this valve uh, was compared in a randomized fashion, that is we, we, we use both uh, this valve and the contemporary valves that are in use and that have the evidence, and we compared them one to one uh, in over 700 patients. The result, the new valve uh, from Merrill is as efficient, as safe, uh, as the others. As a bit of the icing on the cake, uh, it also produces a larger opening, which is the, the effect that you want, a larger opening uh, than uh, the comparable other balloon expandable valve. So this was an exciting trial. We have the 30 days now. We are pretty certain that uh, these results will translate in, in long-term benefits, but of course we have to wait for the long-term.